Well, welcome back to Great Day Washington. Did you know that only 24% of the female workforce in the U.S. are in science, technology, and engineering fields? Well, our next guest is on a mission to increase that number and make it go way up. Yes, the reigning Miss USA, Kyra McCullough, is not only beautiful, she's brilliant as well. She's a scientist, and Kyra is spreading the fun of science with our kids today. So please welcome to Great Day Washington, Miss USA, Kyra McCullough. I'm glad to be back. Yeah. Welcome oh, thank back. You. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. you. So thank you. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Science never looks so good. I know. Tyra. I have to back with DC Fashion Week. You know? <laughs> I know, oh, yeah. right? So you are here to remind us all how important it is that science is nurtured in young girls. You're a scientist. Remind us what you do for a living. So I was a scientist at the United States Nuclear Regulatory Commission, and we just focused on the regulation for nuclear energy domestically, and that's basically what I did. Um, it was a great career, and I advise like anyone to actually like look into a career at the United States Nuclear Regulatory Commission. Is that code for rocket scientist? <laughs> you know, I'm never going to say that, but I love when people tell me uh -huh. that. So thank She's you. She's basically a rocket scientist. She's a rocket scientist. <laughs> what was it about science, though? What is so intriguing about science that drew you to that field? So when I was a child, I was like eight years old. I found this science kit actually thrown away in a trash room in Japan. And I brought it home, showed my mother, and of course, you know, she made me throw it away. But that was like the manifestation of me falling in love with science. So from that point, she got me like a bouncy ball science kit and like a geode kit. So I was more intrigued by like discovery. Mm -hmm. I was so intrigued by having my imagination expanding and like applying these like real world techniques to science. It's like it's all around you every day. And that's what I really encourage with so many children. Can you give us an example of how science is just like an everyday thing that normal people not in the STEM fields would overlook? Absolutely. If you look at the color of like your dress, it's very, very vibrant, right? So we have to realize like there are certain like polymers that go into making your fabrics. So even like when you look at candles, the candles and the colors of them, there are certain polymers. If you've noticed, there aren't many like light blue candles. Hmm. Right. And you notice like there's not, certain colors just aren't available. So it's like when that's how you can apply science. I mean, simple as that. I mean, even when we're helping out in the, when we're cooking in the kitchen, we understand the convection behind like, you know, the stove and the pan and specific heat to get our food to heat up. And that's why we know like, okay, after a while the food doesn't sizzle anymore. <laughs> you know, so it's like you apply these techniques, but you make it very like layman and easy for people people to understand and that's how SC4K well science exploration for, for kids actually approaches science we take away a lot of the intimidation by mm -hmm. making it more explainable so children are more relatable to it so how do you with your with uh, science exploration for kids my my stepdaughter gets those little things she loves to build things and see how yes. things work and I know kids are so uh, curious so how do you translate that into them con continuing to pursue the science and I mean, that's the, what we do. So with SC4K, we offer after school programs, summer camps, like tutoring, especially for like the middle and high school students mm -hmm. and career readiness and exposure. So all those components with a child being so intrigued by building things with her hands, like, and, and being like an engineer early on, it's like they're, they're entering a world of discovery at a young age. So then you can expose them to the career opportunities that can be available. And that's what we do for SC4K. And that's what we're doing at our big event on March 24th. Yeah, you know? so tell us about yeah. that. It's at Reagan National. Will you explain to the kids what a polymer is? I'm, <laughs> I'm still stuck on what a polymer is. <laughs> I'll Google it. Right, right, right. Well, we're going to do that. We're going to okay, Google it. So, I might have to join. I was just saying, can we call? <laughs> yeah, so, so my, my big event basically is just explain everything that we're doing. So it's a full day workshop, but we break it up in the morning for the elementary school students, um, third to fifth. I have made a lot of inquiries about second grade, so just send me an email know we can work it out <laughs> and then the second day is for the um, 6th to 12th graders so both of them are going to have opportunities to do science challenges right the best thing about it is we're incorporating teamwork into these science challenges. Mm -hmm. So breaking the kids up into teams and they're going to do like STEM challenges, whether it's like building a bridge and seeing how many pennies you can hold on your bridge. I mean, we're doing a whole bunch of different things and ideally it's for the child to be intrigued by science and kind of go at their own pace as well. And we're asking for volunteers because we need a lot of STEAM ambassadors. <laughs> and even for the second half for the high school and middle school students, we've actually incorporated a fireside chat. So I have individuals from the Small Business Administration 
information coming and a lot of ambassadors from the AFSS. This is great because when you mention STEAM, for those who don't know, that's the arts. So you go from STEM to mm. STEAM with yes. the arts. Yes. And every, this is free. It is. It's so free. We're trying to get so many kids to come out because this is my passion and I always want people to understand that I put the passion before the person and I don't want anyone to believe that that what I'm doing is in for good merit. Like I love science. I'm a scientist. I've, I've been in love with math since I was a child and that's what I'm doing. I'm encouraging so many kids in that same area and I want kids to come out to this event. I want it to be grand. That's why I'm here talking about it. You know, it's March 24th, Reagan National Airport, Historic Terminal A. It is free. You go on to SE4K.org to register. Let me say this again. There you go. SE4K.org to register. You, it's very explainable. There is a tab for registration and events and you go through that and read it. If you'll just sign up your kid, parents name, their school, their age, t-shirt size, we're giving away, you know, giveaways. So like it's it's going to be great. And I just it want children like, to come out and to be inspired to fall in love with science. It sounds like such an incredible day. Kyra, thanks so much for continuing to spread the fun of science and thank you for being here. Thank so you. So great to have you back. We'll be back right after this.